In this video, we are discussing import and export in MongoDB. We know that import means we are getting some data sources from external source to the MongoDB and export means from the MongoDB to the external sources. And here for this purpose, we require the data sources which will be coming from the external must be either in the form of JSON or CSV or TSV. So, this is the common format in which we can do the import and export in MongoDB. So, let us go for further discussion on it. So, MongoDB import and export. To import data from external source to MongoDB or export data from MongoDB to external sources, we you should use these operations. Okay. So, Mongo supports JSON, CSV and TSV files. So, CSV means comma separated values where the values will be separated by the commas and TSB means tab separated values. So, comma separated values and tab separated values. So, this Mongo supports JSON, there is a JavaScript object notation, CSV and TSB files. So, this is our data import and export, it can be done in uh, for the import we will be using this Mongo import and in case of export we will be using the command that is a Mongo export. So, let us discuss all of them one by one. So, MongoDB import and export, the Mongo import tool is used to import the contents of extended JSON, CSV or TSV files into the MongoDB documents. So, from there we will be importing them to the MongoDB documents. So, the syntax of this tool is that Mongo import minus minus DB then the database name minus minus collection then the collection name minus minus file then the file name dot json in this way the respective import will take place if we want to import json array then we need to specify the json array option for the mongo import command so in the case of json array we are supposed to use this json array option in our mongo import command so now let us discuss mongo export the mongo export tool is used to export the contents of the mongodb documents to the external json or csv or tsv file so the syntax for this json export is that that is mongo export there is a tool name minus minus db then database name minus minus collection then collection name minus minus out then file name dot json. So, this is the respective syntax for json export. So, now in case of csv export the syntax will be like this that is a mongo export minus minus db then database name minus minus collection then collection name minus minus type is equal to csv minus fields then the field 1 field 2 in this way and then minus minus output and the file name dot csv. So, in this way you can do the export for the CSV, we can do the export for the JSON files. So, now let us go for one practical demonstration where you will be issuing such commands to give you a better idea that how these tools are working. In this demonstration we are going to show you how to perform the import and export operation on MongoDB. So, at first we are concentrating on the import operation. So, here we are opening one terminal using Control alter T. So, we have opened one terminal here and in this particular terminal we want to show you that there is one file at the root. So, ls minus l at the home path we are having one file that is the student dot json. So, this is the respective file we are having at the home path. So, let me show you the content. So, this is the content we are finding that we are having one json array and the json array is having four json objects so we are, we are finding this one with the roll number one roll number two roll number three and roll number four so here we are having four json objects are there under this json array so we want to import this json file onto a new mongodb database so let the name of the database be new db so let me show you that this particular database whether it is pre-existing or not so we shall go for sudo service mongodb start so sudo service mongodb start then it is asking for the password 
I've given the password. So now I shall initiate the Mongo shell. So we shall go for show DBS. So here you see there is no DB. So that is no new DB. So new DB is going to get created. So we are coming out. So always remember that whenever you are trying to do the uh, import operation on MongoDB, so the command is mongo import. And in that case, the command has to be executed from the Linux shell, not from the Mongo shell. So that is a very common mistake. So we shall go for this Mongo import, then minus minus JSON array. Then we shall go for this minus minus DB. So let the name be say new DB. Then we shall go for minus minus collection. Then we shall give the collection name say let it be say student and then minus minus file and then we are supposed to give the file name. So mongo import minus minus json array because we have, we have shown you that it, it was a json array con consisting of or containing four json objects then minus minus db new db minus minus collection then the respective collection name here we have given student you can give some other name also minus minus file and the respective json file name with the path so if you enter you see so imported four documents so now we are again going for sudo service mongo db start we are going for sudo service mongo db start asking so now it is okay now we are going for the mongo so it has got started so we are going for show we are going for show dbs you can find that we are having one new db has got created so how to go that one so we shall go for use new db so new db is there so then we shall go for show collections we shall go for show collections so student is one of the collections we are getting here so we shall go for db dot student dot so db dot student dot find so we can find that we are having this respective content also we can go for pretty we can call this pretty method so we can find that we are having four documents are there against four json objects which was there in one JSON array. So in this way, we have shown you that how we have done the import operation. Now we shall go for the export. Now we shall go for the export. So in this particular export show DBS, we are having one collections. You can find that one database is there. So that is a my database. We are having one database. The name of the database is my database. So we are going for use my my database so we have switched to my database so show collections we're having this one employee so this particular employee collection is there under the my database mongodb database so we are going for db dot employee dot find db dot employee dot find so this is a respective content it is having so it is having name city age and salary so four keys are there and the respective values are there so this is our employee is the collection under the database that is the my database so we want to export it we want to export it to one of the csv files so the csv file name may be say emp.csv the CV csv file name is emp.csv and we are we want to create this emp.csv in the home folder so we're coming out and we're going to show you that whether this particular emp.csv is pre-existing or not so i shall go for this i shall go for this home path and then i shall go for this emp.csv so we are having one emp.csv so let me remove that one so we shall go for this rm So again, we are checking, you see, there is no such file or directory. So emp.csv is not there at the, at the home path. So we are going to create that one. So again, we are 
going for the that is a mongo export we are going for the mongo export and again the same thing this mongo export should be invoked not from the mongo shell but from the from the linux shell so that is very important so we shall go for this mongo export then uh, we are passing the db the name of the db was my database so that is the my database then you shall go for the collection then you shall go for the collection and the collection name was the employee the collection name was the employee then you shall go for this uh, type is equal to csv there is a comma separated values and then you shall go for the fields and the fields are name we are having this one as city and then we had our age then we had the salary so in this way you can find that we have mentioned the respective fields and then we shall go for this out then we shall go for this out and we are giving the file name as home directory and then we shall go for this emp.csv so in this way you can find that we are having this mongo export minus minus db my database so from the database name is my database minus minus collection employee employee was the collection under the my database database and then we are having this minus minus type is equal to csv minus minus fields name comma city comma age comma salary and the output file and the output file will be at the home directory that is a slash emp dot csv so this is a respective command we have issued here so now we are going for the execution we are going for the execution you see what will happen so seven records have got exported so let me check whether the file is existing or not yes one emp.csv file is existing so gedit emp.csv you can finding this content that is a name comma city comma age comma salary and then we are having this joy london 20 23000 john delhi 22 25000 so in this way you can find this the file has got imported so so in this way we have got this one so here the file has got exported actually so i'm just closing this one so there's a we can go for this cat you can see the content now for the cross check i'm just doing one thing extra i'm going for this sudo i'm going for this sudo service mongodb start then i shall go for this mongo so shell is there so now i shall go for use i shall go for use my database okay then i shall go for db dot so here the collection name was employee so dot find so just you see we're having this content it is a content of the emp.csv and there is a respective content there you can find that we're having this name we're having this city we're having this age and the salary you can find this one that they are at the column heads so there is a first row and they are separated by commas so that's why it is called comma separated values so in this particular demonstration we have shown you how to perform the import and export operations in our mongodb thanks for watching this video